Hey, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. Uh, today I'm going to be doing a current go-to look video. I like doing these like every six months or so just because I do find that when the seasons change, I switch up the types of products that I'm using. So I just think it's fun to kind of fill you guys in, film it a little bit more casually than a tutorial. Um, I have had to start using hair clips because I cut bangs in my hair again and um, they tend to get in my makeup. So when I'm doing my makeup, I like to clip my bangs back so that they don't get in to my foundation. I'm gonna start off by priming. So I'm gonna use the Tula Face Filter Blurring and Moisturizing Face Primer. I like to use about two pumps of this. Comes out white, but actually as you start blending it in, I'll show you guys, it customizes and has a really sheer tint to it. And all of these Tula products are formulated with superfoods and probiotics. They're really nice and moisturizing. Um, and they're also all cruelty free, never tested on animals. I know that's really important to a lot of you guys. And um, it's also a clean skincare brand, which you guys know I've been recently trying to use more clean uh, skincare as well as makeup. And then I'm gonna be using the Rose Glow and Get It Under Eye Balm. Now this is a little bit of an illuminating eye balm. Warm it up with my finger because I feel like I get more payoff by warming the product up first and I just get more of that illuminated effect which I really want because I just like how it really brightens up the darkness under my eyes. And then all underneath my eye. You can if you want apply it straight out of the bullet like that, but I just feel like I get, like I said, better payoff from the product by heating it up first. And then I get that really nice like beamed up illuminated under eye. And I also do have a uh, discount code for any of you guys who are wanting to try Tula products. If you use my code DaisyCash at Tula.com, you will get 20% off and I'll have all of that in the description box for you guys as well. For foundation today, I'm gonna to be using the Pat McGrath Skin Fetish Foundation. I have really been liking this, even though it's matte. It's very lightweight and fluid, which I love, and it doesn't feel heavy or drying. It also has amazing coverage, and for me, so if I powder it, it will stay matte all day long, but if I don't powder it, within a few hours, it does get a little bit less matte it won't become dewy, but it will get a little bit, you know, more oily looking in a way that I like. I don't say that negatively. Um, it just kind of, you know, brings out the natural oils in your skin and doesn't look quite as matte. And that was just half a pump and I already get really great coverage from it. I have been so impressed with this concealer, the Maybelline Superstay. I'm using the shade Sand today just because I don't have any fake tan on and it's a good under eye shade for me. But this is so, so long lasting. It has really intense full coverage, so a little bit goes a long way, but it's great for doing like any type of liquid highlighting or really intense concealing and brightening. And um, because it is matte, I do find that it sets down quite quickly. So sometimes you guys know I like to let my concealer kind of settle on my skin for a couple moments and then blend it out. But with this concealer specifically, I feel like it's best to just go in and start blending it out right away because it's matte and it'll start setting quite quickly. The other thing I really like about this concealer, the other thing I really like about this concealer is that even though it's matte, I don't find it to look drying or aging under my eyes. It doesn't seem to settle into fine lines too much and it doesn't seem to make my under eye look dry and crusty, which we're all trying to avoid, let's be honest. No one wants a crusty dry under eye. To set my face, I'm using the Laura Mercier Candle Glow Powder. I actually really like using this with matte foundations because you guys can see it's a radiant powder so it's not going to make the foundation look any more matte. It gives you that budge proof seal, but still keeps a little bit of radiance onto your skin. You know, like that candle glow light. That's really what this powder replicates. It just gives you a soft glow while also keeping your makeup set, not making you look chalky either. I'm really into this bronzer. It's the Givenchy Healthy Bronzer. It's a radiant bronzer, so if you don't love a radiant bronzer. I don't think you will like this, 
but I just like how it makes everything look healthy, like the name says. It's quite sheer. It doesn't give you a ton of bronzage, but it's nice and light, especially when I'm not tanned or don't have any fake tan on. It's a good in-between shade of bronzer for me to where I don't feel like it's too dark or too aggressive. This brush always sheds. I love this brush, but like it, it really, it just sheds so much, but I like it so much. It, it just sheds an un, like an unbelievable amount, but I like it. I love this brush. So I keep using it despite like, see, it looks like I have a bunch of chin hair. <sighs> and then just to contour a little bit, cause I do like to chisel, I use um, Hoola, but sometimes I actually like to bronze before I do contour because I think it makes my contour a little bit more natural and soft looking. Sometimes I like to contour after I do bronzer because I feel like it makes my contour a little bit more soft looking. And then I'm not quite as heavy handed with my contour as I can sometimes go a little bit overborn with it. But this just makes sure that I don't do that and I don't make myself look too crazy chiseled. I'll just take it. And I always like to add just a little bit more definition on the sides of my nose. This blush is one of the most perfect everyday shades. It's Iced Cappuccino from CoverGirl. I'm just gonna use my bronzer brush because I like using this for bronzer and blush. And this is like a rosy brown. Um, it's got a little bit more pink to it on the cheeks than it looks like it would have in the pan. But it's nothing too crazy, because you guys know I don't love a super pink cheek. But it's enough, muted enough to not be distracting or make me hate it. I actually love this like brownie rose shade. I think it's really natural. And again, with my skin tone, I just want to keep it a believable color of a blush and I'll always blend it back to meet my bronzer as well. I've been reaching for this brow pencil a lot. It's the Maybelline Ultra Slim Brow. Uh, it's new, I believe, but I really like this brow pencil. It's one of my new favorites and I actually think it's one of the best drugstore brow pencils I've tried. It's not too pigmented. It has a nice waxy formula and it just gives you like the right amount of pigment. Cause you know how sometimes certain brow pencils are so insanely pigmented to the point where they make you look like you have cartoon brows. This one does not. It's like the perfect amount of pigment. The pencil is a really nice size as well. So you can still do realistic looking brow strokes. And I feel like my brows just always come out looking really natural when I use this one. So I have been a big fan. This is from Wander Beauty, it's the Wondrous palette, and it just has three really nice, pretty eyeshadows in it. They're all satin and shimmer, which I really love. Um, and I've just been crazy about this shade OTW. It's kind of a rosy taupe. <gasps> what is on my lip? I have, I literally have a giant chunk of glitter on my lip. Glitter is so dangerous because it literally gets everywhere and I still have hairs from that brush all over me. Okay, so I'm gonna take OTW on a little eyeshadow brush from Smashbox. And I just like this all over my eyelid. It's, it's cool toned, but it's not too cool. But I've actually, weirdly enough, really been liking cool tones lately on my eyes, not on my lips, but on my eyes. I think if I wear cool tones on my lips, I look dead. If any of you guys are similar skin tone to me and you like cool toned lips, will you please suggest some so that I can try them? Because I don't know. I just feel like taupey, beigey, cool toned colors on me are never flattering. But then sometimes I see other girls that have similar color to me wearing cool toned lips and they look really like chic but I just look like a dead girl. So help me, please. Yeah, I don't know, I just like it. I almost feel like it makes my eyes look more brown. And then I take that shade Hustle, just on a fluffy brush, and lightly put that just on the eyelid. 
to give it a little glowy shimmer and just feather it into the crease a bit like this. For every day, I can't, I just, I can't be bothered to use 50 million different eyeshadows. I'm like a one or two eyeshadow girl for my day-to-day -day looks because I just don't think that having a go-to look that is so complicated is practical for anyone. So I think just like one or two, maybe three, like here, we can pop um, charge right on the inner corner. I just think like two, three eyeshadows, one if you can really get away with it. That is the way to go for every day because otherwise you just spend so much time on your eyeshadow and I like to concentrate most of my efforts into my base. <laughs> I also really like a brown in the waterline. This is technically a lip pencil. Don't kill me. Um, but yeah, it's a lip pencil. It's in the shade Espresso. It's from Jouer. And it's so warm. I just think that even though it's like a dark, dark brown, because it has that like warmth to it, <laughs> because it's probably supposed to be, you know, warm for your lips, it looks so pretty in the waterline. I have been using this for like a straight month in my waterline. I never use it on my lips, so I'm not doing like lip lining with it and then putting it in my eye. I have only used this on my eyes and I will only use it on my eyes because I think that'd be bad if you like put it by your mouth and then put it in your eyes. But it just looks so good on the tight line and the waterline. I don't know. I don't know. I just, I've really been liking it. Like I said, I haven't had any reactions, so I think all is good. And then I'm gonna line my lips with MAC Hover. It's a lip pencil that seems to match my lips really well. And this is like my current favorite lip color right now. This is from Physicians Formula. It is their butter lipstick in the shade Soaking Up the Sun. It's really sheer and shiny, like you don't even need a lip gloss with it, that's why I love it. And it's so moisturizing. Like when you put it on, you can just, your lips have so much movement and they feel so comfortable and soft. And for mascara today, I'm gonna use the Voluminous False Fiber Lashes from L'Oreal. Really a big fan of this one. I don't know why I said that like I was disgusted. I was like, it gives you a ton of length too. That was weird. It gives you a ton of length too. I really forgot to set my brows. This is the Maybelline Brow Drama in the clear version. I really like this, but I also do have the brunette shade and I feel like it's too much. It's got a lot of pigment to it, which I don't like because I feel like, again, it just makes my brows look too heavy, too cartoonish. So I like the clear just for perking up my brows and getting them in place all day, but um, I don't know guys, I've tried the brunette shades. I think I tried two different ones and every time they're just a little bit too heavy, but the clear is very good. And it's waterproof, so it, I think it's waterproof. It just keeps your brows. It's not waterproof for anything, but for the most, it's not waterproof for anything, but I'm not really sweating that much anymore because the weather has cooled down. So as long as my face doesn't sweat a ton, it keeps my brows locked and loaded. Well, I feel like there's a little bit of wet gel in my brows, but other than that, guys, this is my current go-to look for every day. This is a look that if I'm not filming a tutorial, I can seriously bang this whole thing out in like 10, 15 minutes if I'm doing it fast. And to me, that is a go-to look. Um, I just don't think for every day, I have the stamina to spend a lot of time doing eye makeup. So that's why I always like picking like one or two shades and just working with those until I get sick of them. Then picking another two for the next time being. It's just easier for an everyday look um, if I'm not doing anything super special. So. This is my current go-to look. Uh, as always, guys, if you have any questions, please feel free to hit me up in the comments down below. I will always do my best to help you guys with any product questions that you have or techniques, things like that. Um, I will also list and link all of these products in the description box down below for you guys. Please subscribe and please come follow me on Instagram if you didn't earlier. Uh, let me know some other fall makeup tutorials that you guys wanna see. I will see you guys in my next video. Thank you so much for watching this one, guys. I also hope you have an amazing day. Thank you so much for watching.